I arrived late to the course. Um, it was a very fast change. It was very sudden. Um, I was living in Mozambique. I had to leave very suddenly because of safety issues. Living in Lisbon my whole life and both my parents being architects and I think this has had a major influence in my work. In the beginning of our course we were assigned a theme to get us started so we were introduced to the theme My World. Initially we were given the topic My World um, in the course and we were taken to the Museo do Mar Museum and Paula Hug Museum which are in Cascais and we were given a variety of things to look at. Um, in the beginning of the arts course, uh, I, did, I started working with experimental photography. You can see here in these, in these three cyanotypes. I started looking at uh, Robert Rauschenberg. As I was doing this series, I was looking at um, In Midsummer Night's Dreams by uh, Shakespeare, and I was also performing in it as Titania. Um, in this series, I experimented with cyanotypes, photograms, and I did a lot of darkroom processes. In the beginning of the course, I was awarded uh, an award for my photography, my digital photography, and you could say I was quite uh, confident with that. Uh, but really, I didn't know about the technical aspect of analog photography. Our teachers allowed us to explore um, our own independent interests. So I took this opportunity to go out and experiment. I wasn't really focusing on an artist at this point. I just wanted to see what I could do and where it would take me. As I was looking at everyday objects in a water bottle and how we can actually deconstruct and use something that's around us every day, I chose to look around the house and I started taking photographs of everything that's around me. Initially my work was autobiographical, but as my work progressed, that, that idea of having my work being autobiographical was uh, not as strict. And I was feeling very nostalgic of Mozambique and the beaches there and what was typical of the country. Actually, I started with a mixed media piece, um, influenced heavily by Robin Rauschenberg because he works with a variety of different mediums. Figure ground is the space created uh, in between buildings when looking at them from above. It's an architectural term. I did etchings and so this is my mother and a tree I photoshopped both of them together and I was interested in natural forms and how natural forms uh, are a metaphor for change and growth which are two of my uh, uh, major themes. Um, I move with these photographs I use them in, I use them in my mixed media piece which I title as um, destructive development. I chose to attend an experimental drawing course in a Lisbon University of Arts to try and develop drawing through a different manner. This photograph uh, was composed um, on Photoshop and when I was doing this I was looking at Robert Maplethorpe and Robert Maplethorpe's images are very raw, very explicit and strongly contrasting images and I wanted to achieve this in some of my pieces. I worked on um, this uh, cityscape of Port. Uh, I named it Architectural Chaos and Traditional Lifestyles. This screen print, I started uh, doing a lot of layering, a lot of, lot of colors, to actually start to take away from informa information of the spoon. After this, I started looking more open-endedly at films, for example, where I did my copper etching prints based off of Jim Jarmusch's, uh, Jarmusch's recent film, Only Lovers Left Alive. Uh, Girl With Gun is uh, an oil painting, and it's a painting that shows the one of the experiences I had in Mozambique. With Dark, we were given certain rules. Um, they would give us certain objects where we had different times, different activities. We were using different mediums such as charcoal, gouache, graphite. And this gave me um, a different look on how to approach different projects. So uh, video was quite a, a new media for me as I'm not very used to working with video. So it was quite a challenging uh, area for me. I think uh, I also started working with vibrations and sound vibrations in uh, speakers. Uh, that arised from me working with liquids and water and movement. And with my camera, I had I put it to a setting to a low aperture and shutter speed, and I took photos 
of the cars moving and it gave this really nice effect where you can see the lines of the movement of the cars. Well, my whole work is about me and the, and the process and then later on, as you'll see, it's about the audience interacting with the piece. Because I want to make the idea of exposing myself extremely important. Um, that's why there is that there is the contrast of the very smooth, tender, raw um, face compared to the hard, iron-like exterior. I'd like to talk about the projection that was inspired by my visit to the Museo du Orient, the Asian Art Museum in Lisbon, where I looked at Chinese puppetry and the use of shadow and light um, to create images. I thought scale was important with this, especially because the bridge bring a three-dimensional sculpture, obviously. I was projecting lines to create the bridge. Uh, looking at movement, I also wanted to study movement in the human form, and I studied this a lot in my life drawing classes. So I attended quite a few sessions at school. Uh, from charcoal to uh, uh, pencil to oil painting to using acrylic paint and cards to actually draw the female or male figure. In this piece I decided to cast a picture of my grandfather's face, my dad's face and my face so you could see the changes, uh, the change in generation, time. Everything about this piece was very important to me as a maturing artist because I learned about compositional values, um, I, uh, implicating ideas, working with new mediums. In some of, the, some of them I left it just with the gl normal glaze, and in others I decided to press natural, um, natural objects into them, like for example flowers and leaves, to give it texture. I want to introduce uh, my environment into my work. It also allowed me to develop my, my drawing skills, my painting skills for my future learning of design. Um, I'm going to apply for architecture next year as it's a, a creative subject once again and it will enable me to actually use those techniques and skills that I learned from observational drawing, from oil paintings, from sculpture making, from video making into the actual course. This course has really enabled me to experiment with different mediums um, like painting, pencil, uh, mixed media, just a variety of different mediums and platforms which I wouldn't have had the chance if I didn't take it and I can take the, inf the information which I've gathered from these two years and learned and apply them to my future work. I think looking at so many different mediums and different artists and different styles and adapting to different ways to interpret my own work was really interesting. I am applying to art school, to fine art, and I've learned a lot about myself and as an artist and how to use my skills in, uh, in, material, in, in material use and also compositional skills. They, strength, they strengthened immensely. And I am able to take these skills and they, this de these developments with me to art school.